Tim Reid is joining us, and any cookbook that has a man in a beanie holding on to a tray of burgers is my type of cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> this has just come out today. Tim, thank you so much for joining us here at the cafe. Oh, thanks for having me. It's good to be here. It's lovely to have you here, and I must ask you, have you been into any bookshops yet and taken a selfie of yourself in front of a <laughs> display of Tim? Uh, no selfies, but um, I'm getting sent pictures all the time at the moment from friends and family uh, saying they're checking me out in bookstores. It's, it's pretty surreal. It's so exciting, isn't it? Yeah. You were winner of MasterChef. This is part of the prize, getting a cookbook out. Yes. You didn't actually train to be a chef, did you? You were a physiotherapist? Yeah, that's right. I traded as a physiotherapist and still do, actually, a couple nights a week. Um, giving us massages later on. Yeah. <laughs> no, no yeah. I missed that one. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, looking to go full-time into food, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, well, that's what I wanted to know. Is it going to become a full-time thing now? Totally, totally. Nice. Um, it's been a little bit... Mix and matchy uh, for now until this book's come out and then uh, hopefully this will launch me into something food-wise for, for good. It's very exciting. Yeah. I, I want to know about MasterChef because I know that you filmed two endings to it. So yeah. you actually know and you who yeah. had won. So where were you when you found out that you'd actually won? Uh, we actually had about 40 people over to my auntie and uncle's house and uh, I did a bit of a precursor that uh, if I lost, it's cool, just go. Um, we'll catch up later. <laughs> it's fine. Just we don't have to leave. talk about it now, and we'll catch up. Um, but yeah, one, and it was awesome to have everyone there, and we celebrated well. It was good. I bet you did. Yeah. How many times? Because you know I'm familiar with reality TV. <laughs> yeah, um, just quite. You are a big gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I know some of the girls in The Bachelor. They get to the point where they want to leave. Um, you know, did you? get to that point with Master Chef where you wanted to throw your apron down and leave because you were sick and tired of it. You weren't um, getting a rose? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just wanted a flipping rose. <laughs> um, yeah, there are definitely times when you had a bad day in the kitchen and you're like, Flip, why am I even here? But um, yeah, I was just like, alright, I'll wake up tomorrow and she'll be right. And we'll go again. Because it's not only that, there's not only the pressure of cooking and cooking well, but you're cooking on, on reality TV as well. Yeah. The, the, that pressure must be intense. I, I quickly figured out what the cameras wanted to hear, and so I was able to just spit that out <laughs> nice. and, and try to get them out of my face. So as what do they want to hear? Um, what you're cooking right now, what you're working on, and uh, has anything gone wrong? Um, are typically the things they asked. And uh, yeah, a few times things went wrong, but that's the nature of the beast, I guess. Mm -hmm. And what did you miss once that process was finished? Because everyone gets quite close, you know, was yeah. there something you had missed? Yeah, obviously the family environment that you create in a house. Um, there were 16 people to start with, which was a crowded house, but kind of once it got down to 10 and whatever, we all felt quite like family. Um, the, the unlimited pantry is obviously oh, something nice. I miss. It yeah. must be amazing. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, but then going to have to buy these products yourself is obviously, uh, yeah, my grocery bill stepped up quite a bit. So I wanted to know, though, how did you actually know? Did someone say to you, you're a good cook? Or, you know, there must have been somebody that went, actually, you should apply for MasterChef. Um, it, it sounds bad, but I was just thought it would be a laugh. Right. Um, I just thought, imagine if I got an apron, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> and now you're sitting here with a cookbook. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, yeah, my personality is to really throw myself at anything that I do, and I work hard, and I pride myself on that, and I just wanted to work hard until I was told to go home. I was just never told to go home. So you obviously like cooking with really fresh ingredients and things that you've um, sometimes shot and killed yourself? Yes, yeah, absolutely. What's your must-have ingredient at the moment? Oh gosh, red wine at the moment. Oh, yeah. I have to be. Oh, um, winter. That's a very good yeah, must-have ingredient. Yeah, yeah. Um, any kind of ragu or kind of stew with a bit of red wine oh, in it at yum. the moment. Uh, can't go wrong. I must ask you too about those buffalo wings that you're cooking. Yes. So why are they called buffalo wings? Uh, Googled it because I heard you wanting to know about it. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, you made it sound Dr. Then. Google. Oh yeah, no, no, I knew all this before. <laughs> um, you know, Bar and Buffalo, apparently, started selling deep fried wings with a spicy sauce. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, and imagine if they, uh, they got that registered. So no buffaloes were harmed in the making of those <laughs> buffalo wings. Good to know. Yeah, they're a big old wing. <laughs> I just wanted to say quickly before we wrap, I really love the fact that in this book, Gather, you've got the basics as well, just really simple things that a lot of people don't know how to do. So this book appeals to both guys and girls, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I, I kind of want the kitchen... Often we, we see it as something that we fear and, and people get a bit nervous when they step into a kitchen but the aim of the book is trying to make people comfortable and, and at ease and, and enjoy the process of, of cooking. Okay. A meal. So make it nice and easy, something totally. for everybody. You've yep. got a book out. Tim, you should be very proud of yourself. Yeah, Tim Reed, you. gather in stores right now. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it.